Hi everyone, in this episode, I'm going to make jollof rice and trust me, this is the easiest method you can use. Like every other cooking, I start by sauteing my red chopped onion, then I add some tomato paste, which is a blend of fresh tomato, chili, onion, ginger and garlic. It's always easier for me to use this whenever I want to cook and it saves time as well. And as always, nothing goes into my cooking pot without my cam all-purpose seasoning. I add 2 teaspoons of cam all-purpose seasoning, a quarter teaspoon of salt and mix together. Here I add a cup of water, mix together and bring to a boil. This serves as the base in which you're going to mix the rice with and this way it incorporates all of the seasonings together. Then I add the parboiled rice, mix together. You would notice the water level is low. Better to gradually add water than put too much water and then your jollof rice becomes soggy. I add half teaspoon of salt again and a quarter cup of water. Mix together, cover and allow to cook for 25 minutes. One last touch. Give it some highlight. I add green beans, carrots, and spring onion. Mix together only when the rice is cooked. This is just going to steam for about a minute and then you can serve and enjoy. Here's a tip on how to cook jello fries the right way. One, don't put too much water. Better to have less water and gradually add more if you need than have too much water and then your jello fries comes out overcooked. 2. Less oil The quantity of vegetable oil you use at the start of your cooking matters. You don't want to have too much vegetable oil sitting at the bottom of your pot or swimming in between your meal when you serve your rice in a dish. And number 3. You've got to have cam oil bubble seasoning. With this seasoning, you don't need any other seasoning and it's suitable for all kinds of meal. And lastly, the heat. You can start on a medium heat, but the moment you mix the parboiled rice with the stew base, your heat goes from medium to low. Jollof rice is all about steaming. It's a meal you have to be patient with when cooking. Thanks for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Please come back next week for another exciting recipe. I'm DJ Cam. If it tastes good, go on, eat it.